Lawsuit dismissed. That's the ruling from a Hillsborough Superior Court judge who decided Democratic leaders at the State House didn't have standing to challenge Governor Chris Sununu's control over $1.25 billion in coronavirus relief funds. You know, we're very pleased with the decision, uh, and we thank the judge for kind of taking a lot on his shoulders in a very short amount of time, but we got a job to do. It's a very big job. Our focus is always on getting relief and recovery efforts out to the state of New Hampshire. The quartet of legislative leaders who brought the lawsuit released a statement this afternoon describing their respectful disagreement with the judge's decision, saying, quote, Governor Sununu continues to put up technical roadblocks on this issue and continues to allow a cloud of constitutional uncertainty to persist. While Democrats are calling this a power grab, the governor has created a legislative advisory board that includes the same lawmakers who are suing him, and they're currently working on how to distribute the funds. So I think the structure that we've put in place is very sound, and because of that, we again, we just have a lot of work to do. We can uh, really get to it, listen to the feedback of the stakeholders, but hopefully get something out in short order. We're still waiting for the guidance document from the federal government, but hopefully get some of these relief efforts out in very short order. That money is urgently needed. The New Hampshire Lodging and Restaurant Association saying today the hospitality industry here has taken a catastrophic blow. A rough estimate of the losses for the industry, if you take half of March, April and May, or somewhere in the neighborhood of about $800 million. While this lawsuit could come back, a new UNH Survey Center poll indicates that Grant Staters approve of the governor's handling of the COVID-19 crisis. An 89% approval rating is what that poll shows. Reporting live in Concord, Adam Sexton, WMUR News 9.